Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to shoot and create your own mock-ups in Photoshop. Uh, this is my setup for today. I've just got some little props on the table here. I'm using my camera hands-free. I'll be using the app on my phone that connects to it so that I can have enough time to arrange everything in between shots. I will be shooting tags for jewelry, business cards, and a poster. I'm going to be shooting it all top down. Then I'll bring those files into Lightroom, edit the lighting, bring them into Photoshop, and use smart objects to create mockups. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the room that I'm shooting in. I've got quite a bit of natural light coming in, but I am still gonna use that extra light just to cast these harsh shadows onto the table. Okay, I have imported all the photos I took into Lightroom and I'm just pasting my edits on. I've added a preset and I've just fixed the shadows, lightened it up a bit, corrected the exposure and I'm just cropping these to be how I want them to be. I'm trying to keep the darker shadows you'll see on the side and like the shadows that the light creates through that crystal. I really like that look so I'm keeping that and I'm just going through these quickly pasting the settings on and then like doubly adjusting them to make sure it's right. Crop this one in a bit, move the sizing around, done. I usually just set the ratings to 5 and then I go to the 5 stars folder and export them from there. It's a bit lazy, I don't know how other people do it, but for me it's the quickest way to sort through as I'm going through them. So these are the ones that I've exported, you can just see how they look. And I've chosen this one to use as the example of how I'll do a mock-up. It's got the tags, the business cards, and the poster in it, so I can show you all of them. So you're basically just going to take a rectangular shape. I'm just eyeballing the size. I'm going to change it to that color because I prefer it, but you can just leave the color. And then you're going to quickly convert it to a smart object. Hit Command T to transform. I'm going to zoom in and then hold it, either Control or Command, depending on what system you're using, and drag those corners to the ends of the business card. Now double click on your smart object thumbnail and paste what you want on the front of the business card here. I'm just using one of my pre-made logo options as a demo. Hit command S to save. And once you go back to your original photo, that's going to be sitting there. All the perspective is done because it's a smart object. And I just want to make this background have a little bit of an opacity so that you can see the texture of the card come through. Now moving on to the second one. Again, just make it a rectangle, convert it to a smart object. Hitting Command T and then dragging those points to the corners of the card.
Okay, just going to drag that below the original layer. Double click on the smart object thumbnail and go add in my info. I just want to add a little drop shadow onto this card just to add that depth from behind the second one. Okay, those are looking good. Let's move on to the jewelry tag. Adding that rectangle, combining it to a smart object, and dragging the corners to the corners of the card. Okay, now I don't want this one to have any back on at all, so I'm just going to paste in my label tag and then I'm going to remove the background. Just going to delete that square, hit Command S and go back to my original layers. There we go. Okay, last one is the A4 poster. Grabbing the rectangle tool again and just repeating the whole process. And that's how to shoot and create your own mockups. Hope this was interesting. If you have any questions, please do let me know. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the wall files and you can practice on it for yourself. I am thinking of doing a video where I create lifelike mockups in Photoshop without any actual photos. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. And as always, thank you for tuning in and see you next week.